Sleep apnea means that you stop breathing for at least 10 seconds or more multiple times in the night. One is that they get up a lot of times throughout the night to urinate or pee. It's called enuresis. Um, and so getting up frequently, even though people think that, oh, I'm getting older, I, this must be normal. It really isn't normal. The other thing is possibly that uh, they feel have a morning headache when they wake up in the mornings that they're, uh, and that they're very tired, they're fatigued throughout the day. They tend to caffeinate to keep going. Even though they might have slept for maybe eight or nine hours, they're still very tired. And so those are some typical symptoms that patients have. There are sleep doctors and sleep centers out there that you can call and usually they get you in and do an interview and then most of the time if they think that your symptoms are strong enough that you probably or possibly have sleep apnea then they'll do an overnight study in a sleep center and keep you overnight. The golden standard to treat sleep apnea and that's called a CPAP. A CPAP uh, means or stands for a continuous positive air pressure, CPAP. So the, that's where you have this little machine that forces air down your throat and you strap on a mask to be able to get that airway to be pushed down your throat. A lot of times, physicians will offer the golden standard of a CPAP that, that has a mask and a strap, and there's very different nose pieces or, or face pieces that fit. But if you're claustrophobic, if you have a latex allergy and your face breaks out, sometimes physicians tell you that your only other alternative is to have some kind of surgery of the throat or the jaw or something like that and that doesn't really work that often it's not the cure so there is an oral appliance that a lot of physicians don't really realize really do work and that's because sometimes the standards of dentists making them um, they have picked a snoring appliance, let's say, instead of a true mandibular anterior device um, where the man mandible is brought forward to open the airway. Very similar to when you learn how to do CPR and you adjust the person's uh, throat and neck and, and prop it up to open that airway. That's exactly what this appliance is kind of doing. It's bringing the jaw more forward, which the tongue kind of follows, and opens that airway up. A good little uh, uh, demonstration is with uh, Mr. Airhead here. He, um, as he's sitting up, his airway of his nose and in his mouth is open so that you can breathe, okay? But then when Mr. Airhead goes to sleep, a lot of times the jaw falls back, and so therefore the um, actual airway is blocked, okay? And so how the oral device works is that we snap this oral device in here and it brings the jaw forward, securing the jaw with your teeth so that the airway is open and that that stays open. Okay, there are many, many devices that are on the market that dentists can fit you with. There's one that's called the Respire. It's kind of the red, white, and blue <laughs> of devices. These wings is what holds the device or your jaw forward so that it doesn't fall back like Mr. Airhead. Um, this is called the Moses Appliance. It actually has the, an indentation that the person actually has to kind of bite into to actually hold their jaw into place. These are called um, the EMA appliances. They are different colored straps that cause the jaw to stay forward. Um, aren't quite as sturdy, but if uh, people don't have dental or medical coverage to pay for them, sometimes we choose um, this appliance because it's fairly affordable and fairly inexpensive. They don't last very long. Um, this is my go-to appliance. It's called the Somnodent. 
It's made by the company called Somnamed, and it is not tethered together. It has an upper one and a lower one, and again, like the Respire, it has these wings that keep the jaw from falling back. I actually have one that was made for me. I've slept with it. It works out really well. It's easy to sleep in. I don't have sleep apnea, but I thought I would give it a try to see how hard it was to get used to it and to sleep with it. If people have been diagnosed with sleep apnea and they want to learn more about getting an oral appliance, all they would have to do is call my office. Um, and we have a 1-800-MORE-SLEEP as a easy phone number to remember and we can give you the details of what it would take to um, get an oral appliance. These oral devices are usually covered under your medical insurance. Medicare now is covering, they kind of bundle the package together for the uh, payments on the medical device or the oral appliance so that you aren't paid per office visit or for a home study or things like that, but you're paid one fee if they um, can go to a Medicare provider, but most of the time it's, it's covered by the medical insurance. This has been so cool to have such a positive uh, influence on patients' lives and it just has kind of rekindled my love for coming to work every day and really making a difference in people's lives.